What is up guys, Jeremy with Everything I Device, and welcome to another RetroArch tutorial. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to download the BIOS files to be installed within the file system of RetroArch. This will enable it to play the PlayStation ISOs, or in, in turn, the games for PlayStation. Uh, this is a necessary step, and I definitely feel like a broken record on this tutorial, let me tell you, but uh, it's a crucial part of this process, and I promise you guys I'm going to be getting to the PS3 controller setup uh, very, very soon here. So again, like I said, this is a step in order to get the PlayStation games to work. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up iFile. And I must say I would recommend watching every episode before this so you have a good understanding of what's going on. Um, so open up iFile, make sure you're in your documents folder. And we're going to go ahead and click on the gear on the lower left hand corner right there. And you're going to want to go into file manager and then turn on hidden files. Go ahead and click done. And now you should be able to see dot retro arch. That's where these BIOS files are going to need to be installed in order for PlayStation games to work with the PlayStation core. So we're going to go ahead and exit iFile after you've done that. And now we're going to go ahead and open up Safari here. Now I will leave the link in the description for this website. This is where we're going to download those BIOS and you will need four of them and they are 1001, 5500, 5502, and 7502. I will leave those down in the description as well just in case you forget. You will need all four. Now for the sake of time I'm only going to demonstrate one so I'm going to do 1001. Go ahead and click on it it will open up uh, Safari Download Manager and then destination just uh, save it to your documents just like so and then go ahead and click download you can check our downloads right here and there it is downloading and again like I said you need to do all four Now once all four BIOS are done downloading within here, you can go ahead and exit Safari and we're going to go ahead and open up iFile again. Now you will need to back to mobile and go back into documents to refresh it. So as you can see there is the BIOS right there. Now this is a crucial step with these, with these files. As you can see uh, it's all in caps. So SCPH is in capital letters and the dot bin is in capital letters. You have to change these to lowercase, otherwise it won't work. And the way you change it is just go ahead and, and click on the little blue arrow and then at the top there where the name is, is where you can just change it. So we're going to put bin in lowercase and then SCPH in lowercase as well. Just like so. Go ahead and click done and now it's all lowercase. Once you've done that to all four files, you can go ahead and click edit and select all four. You're going to want to click on the little um, uh, clipboard there in the bottom right hand corner and then do copy slash link, click done, and then open up the dot retro arch folder. Go ahead and click edit again, click the pasteboard again, and then paste all four in there. I'm not going to do it because I already have them in there. And I will scroll down just to prove you guys that there are the four BIOS right there. Again, it's 1001, 5500, 5502, 7502, all lowercase letters. And then you're done in iFile. And that's all you needed to do in order to uh, get the BIOS running for RetroArch. And again, like I said, this is to play the PlayStation games. And for proof, I'm going to go ahead and go into PlayStation here. And I guess we could play some Tekken. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the core PlayStation 1 because that's what it is. I'm going to let it launch. As you can see, I have the button layout enabled. I'm going to explain that real quick here too as well once this game starts loading. So we go ahead and click that invisible button up in the top middle. And we'll do system config. And it's PlayStation 1. Where is it? Right here. And it's uh, the bottom one, the PCSX. Uh, rearmed right there so that's which core it is you got to pay attention to which core you're using because they can all have different settings and scroll down until you see the input overlay or aka button overlay go ahead and select that and I have which one is it the box PS so we'll scroll down here until we see the box PS with 
diagonals right there. That is the input overlay I'm using currently. And we can back all the way out, do resume game. I'm going to go ahead and take it off my dock. And as you can see, this is a portrait button overlay as it fits nicely portrait. There's a difference between land uh, or uh, landscape rather. This is a landscape overlay, not a portrait. But uh, you can have either or, whatever you prefer. And as you can see, this PlayStation game is working. We're going to go ahead and select uh, arcade mode. And hell yeah. And it's pretty impressive how smoothly these games run on this application. It's pretty nuts. Oh, get out of here. I'm going to whoop your ass, dude. I'll grab him. Come on. I will say... Well, come on, one hit. Okay, I'll, Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. So there you go, guys. That is how you set up the BIOS for PlayStation in order to play the PlayStation games within RetroArch. Uh, definitely check out previous tutorials and check the description. I'll put uh, links to new tutorials when I have them out. I'll also be doing the PS3 controller um, set up here very, very soon. Um, many more tutorials to come guys if if this did help you out definitely throw me a thumbs up because it does help me out tremendously also if you guys want to see more tutorials like this be sure to click that subscribe button this has been jeremy with everything out of ice and i'll catch you guys in the next one later